Welcome to Tunisia. The most northern nation in Africa is Tunisia, formerly known as the Republic of Tunisia. It is surrounded by Algeria to the west and southwest, Libya to the southeast, and the Mediterranean Sea to the north and east. It is a part of the Maghreb area of North Africa. It has a land area of 163,610 square kilometers, 63,170 square miles, and 12.1 million people. The majority of its remaining area is fertile land, and it includes the northernmost stretches of the Sahara Desert as well as the easternmost extremity of the Atlas Mountains. The African confluence of the western and eastern regions of the Mediterranean basin is part of its 1,300 kilometers, 810 miles, of coastline. Cape Angela, the northernmost point of Africa, is located in Tunisia, while Tunis, the country's capital and largest city, Tunisia was inhabited by the native Berbers since early antiquity. Beginning in the 12th century BC, Venetians established a number of towns, the most powerful of which by the 7th century BC was Carthage. Prior to being defeated by the Romans in 146 BC, Carthage was a significant commercial power and a military rival of the Roman Republic. The Romans occupied Tunisia for the majority of the following 800 years, bringing Christianity and leaving behind architectural legacies like the amphitheater of El Jem. Muslims eventually invaded Tunisia in 697 AD following multiple failed efforts beginning in 647, and they introduced Islam and Arab culture to the local populace. The Ottoman Empire took over in 1546 and remained in power there for more than 300 years until Tunisia was annexed by France in 1881. Under the direction of Habib Bourguiba, Tunisia attained independence as the Tunisian Republic in 1956. The smallest country in North Africa today, Tunisia's culture and identity are rooted in this long-standing mingling of various civilizations and nationalities. In 2011, President Zine El Abidin Ben Ali's dictatorship was overthrown by the Tunisian Revolution, which was sparked by resentment over the lack of freedom and democracy throughout his 24-year rule. This revolution also served as the catalyst for the wider Arab Spring movement in the region. Shortly after, the nation held fresh free multi-party elections for parliament on October 26, 2014, and for president on November 23, 2014. Tunisia became a unitary presidency representative democratic republic following the constitutional referendum in 2022. Tunisia has a strong sense of belonging in the world. It belongs to a number of organizations, including the International Criminal Court, the Group of 77, the Arab League, La Francophonie, the OIC, the African Union, Camisa, and the Non-Aligned Movement. It maintains close commercial and political ties with a few European nations, especially France, Italy, and Spain, which are geographically close by. Tunisia Best 10 Attractions 1. El Jem Amphitheater the walls of the mighty Roman amphitheater of El Gem dwarf the surrounding modern town. This incredibly well-preserved Roman relic is Tunisia's big sightseeing highlight, one of the most popular things to do on day trips from the coastal resorts, and one of the best examples of amphitheater architecture left standing in the world. The monumental bulk of the walls are a reminder of Rome's once mighty grip across North Africa. You can still walk the corridors under the arena, just like the gladiators did. Or, climb up to the top seating tiers and sit staring across the arena, imagining the battles that took place below. 2. Jerba. If you're looking for the picture-perfect beach escape, then the island of Jerba checks all the right boxes. The island town of Hamsuk is the main point of interest off the beach, with an old town district that is a muddle of whitewashed houses. Hamsuk shopping is an attraction in itself, with plenty of handicraft vendors for browsing and haggling opportunities off the beach. But it's those sandy strips of shoreline out of town that are the island's most popular highlight. Pristine and trimmed by date palms, the beaches are relaxing, get away from it all settings where summer daydreams are made. 3. Carthage. Antoine Baths at Carthage. Once Rome's major rival, 
Carthage was the city of the seafaring Phoenicians forever memorialized in the Punic Wars. The atmospheric ruins of this ancient town now sit beside the sea amid the suburbs of Tunis, a warning that even the greatest cities can be reduced to rubble. The ruins are extensive but spread out, and if you've been lucky enough to visit ancient city sites such as Ephesus in Turkey or Volubilis in Morocco, which are well preserved, Carthage can seem quite underwhelming at first. But these UNESCO World Heritage listed remnants are hugely important historically, and any tourist interested in North Africa's ancient past shouldn't miss a visit here. 4. The National Bardo Museum Even non-museum fans can't fail to be impressed at the massive hall of beautiful mosaics exhibited inside the Bardo. This is one of North Africa's top museums, and it houses one of the world's most important mosaic collections, all curated beautifully. It's a showcase of the dazzling, intricate artistry of the Roman and Byzantine eras, with pieces cherry-picked from every major archaeological site in Tunisia. If you only have one day in Tunisia's capital, Tunis, this museum should be high up on your to-do list. 5. Sidi Bou Said Impossibly cute and amazingly photogenic, Sidi Bou Said is a cliff-top village of petite dimensions that seem to have fallen off an artist's canvas. Unsurprisingly, artists have faded this little hamlet, now a high-class suburb of the capital Tunis, for decades. The whitewashed alleyways, wrought iron window frames, and colorful blue doors are Tunisian village architecture at their finest, while the Mediterranean backdrop is the cherry on top. This is a place to while away a lazy afternoon, simply soaking up the laid-back atmosphere and maybe indulging in a spot of shopping at one of the many local artisan and handicraft stalls. 6. Grand Erg Oriental Tunisia's vast Sahara covers much of the country's interior, and the most beautiful corner of the desert is the field of sand dunes known as the Grand Erg Oriental. These poetically beautiful dunes are a surreal and gorgeous landscape of huge waves, shaped by the ever-shifting desert sands. For many visitors, this is an adventure playground for riding dune buggies and camel tracks, but nothing tops the simple pleasure of sitting atop one of these mammoth sand mountains and watching the sun set over the Sahara. The nearest center is the desert town of Daos, from where you can organize camel, hiking, and 4WD excursions and multi-day trips to the dunes. 7. Bola Regia Bola Regia Ruins Tunisia has no shortage of Roman ruins, but Bola Regia near Tabarca is the country's most interesting and intriguing site. Here, the Roman inhabitants cope with the harsh summer climate by ingeniously building their villas underground, which has left the city houses incredibly well preserved today. For history lovers, this is a unique opportunity to walk through actual Roman houses, with their walls still intact, and with some of the expansive floor mosaics still in situ. It's a glimpse of the residential life of the ancient world that you often don't see. 8. Karwa With mosques, madrasas, and tombs aplenty, Karwa has more than its fair share of monuments as the fourth most important city for those of the Muslim faith. The Arabic architecture here is truly inspiring, and the skyline is full of skinny minarets and bulky domes. But it's probably the back alleys of the city's medina that steal the show. With narrow, maze-like lanes lined with crumbling colorful houses, Karwa's old town has an enchanting, lost-in-time atmosphere that is a true highlight of a visit here. 9. Sous Medina View over the Medina in Sous Overlooked by the mighty fortifications of the Ribbet and Kasbah, the Medina in Sous just begs to be explored. This lovely old town district is a warren of looping lanes, rimmed by whitewashed houses, and a shopping paradise with a tempting selection of ceramics, leatherwork, and metalwork on display. Away from the stalls along the bustling souk streets, the quiet and rambling back alleys, dusted in white and blue, are a charming place to dive in and sample local life. 10. Ham Mammoth Ham Mammoth is all about the beach. This laid-back town on the Kapban Peninsula is Tunisia's top sun and sea resort, dedicated to easy-going beach vacations. The town itself, 
with its pretty white buildings set beside a bright blue sea, has bundles of Mediterranean charm, which was all who come to sunbathe on the soft, white sand. For many who come here, off-the-beach pursuits total up to nothing more strenuous than gentle strolls in the Medina, Old Town, and a spot of shopping in the restored Old Town souks. It's a no-stress kind of place that sums up the pleasures of Tunisia in one pretty package. Tunisia Top 10 Luxury Hotels 1. Anantara Sahara Tozer Resort and Villas Anantara Tozer Resort features accommodation with a restaurant, free private parking, an outdoor swimming pool and a fitness center. Each accommodation at the five-star hotel has pool views, and guests can enjoy access to a bar and to a garden. The accommodation offers a 24-hour front desk, room service and currency exchange for guests. The rooms at the hotel are fitted with a seating area. At Anantara Tozer Resort Rooms come with a desk and a TV. A continental breakfast is available each morning at the accommodation. Anantara Tozer Resort offers a terrace. You can play tennis at the hotel. The nearest airport is Tozer Nefta, 7 kilometers from Anantara Tozer Resort, and the property offers a paid airport shuttle service. 2. Hasdrubal Prestige Jerba Situated on the Sidi Maras Beach in Jerba, the Hasdrubal Prestige Thalassa and Spa Jerba offers luxurious five-star accommodation, a spa, and free Wi-Fi. Rooms at the Hasdrubal Prestige are air-conditioned and have flat-screen TV. They also include a bedroom and a lounge that opens out onto a terrace or balcony. The 11,000 square meters spa includes covered swimming pools, hot tubs, therapy areas, massages and a fitness center guests also have access to a hammam and sauna. The 3,200 square meters outdoor lagoon has seawater, freshwater pool and spa pools. The hotel's bars and restaurants offer a wide choice of local and international cuisine. There are four restaurants, a pool bar and a lobby bar. Additional services at the Hasdrubal Prestige Thalassa and Spa Jerba include two tennis courts. 3. Four Seasons Hotel Tunis Located within 15 kilometers of Carthage Roman ruins and Sidi Boussed, Four Seasons Hotel Tunis offers rooms with air conditioning and a private bathroom. The property boasts a tennis court as well as a garden. Guests can grab a bite to eat in the in-house restaurant or relax in the bar. At the hotel, the rooms are fitted with a desk and a flat-screen TV. Rooms include a coffee machine, a wardrobe and outdoor terrace or balcony. Carthage Museum is 18 kilometers away. Tunis Airport is 11 kilometers from the property. 4. Les Orangers Garden Villas and Bungalows Ultra All-Inclusive Boasting a garden and terrace, as well as a restaurant, Les Orangers Garden Villas and Bungalows Ultra All-Inclusive is a luxury all-inclusive hotel set in Hammamet. The five-star hotel has air-conditioned rooms with a private bathroom and free Wi-Fi. The units in the hotel are fitted with a TV with satellite channels. Les Orangers Garden Villas and Bungalows Ultra All-Inclusive provides some rooms with garden views, and every room is fitted with a terrace. 5. Medina Solaria and the Lasso Medina Solaria and the Lasso offers luxurious, all-inclusive accommodation and a private beach in Hammamet. Its five-star services include a spa and fitness center and several swimming pools. Each guest room at the Solaria is air-conditioned and has satellite TV and a balcony. Dining options include buffet-style cuisine at Old Blue Restaurant and Tunisian dishes in the Agua Y Sol snack bar. There is also an oriental-themed restaurant, three bars, and a cafe. There is a swimming pool in the garden, which is split in three levels and has an integrated hot tub, caves, and a slide. The spa center specializes in water-based treatments and also has a hammam, massage room, and sauna. Additional services at the Medina Solaria and the Lasso include a kids' club and an entertainment program. 6. 
Molenpick Resort and Marine Spa Seuss. This resort is located in Seuss city center with access to a private beach. It offers saltwater outdoor swimming pools and a well-being and fitness center. Each room in the Movenpick Resort and Marine Spa Seuss is air-conditioned and features satellite channels on a flat-screen TV and a private bathroom. Some include bathrobes and tea and coffee making facilities. All rooms have a panoramic view of the sea, garden, or pool. Movenpick Resort and Marine Spa's restaurants and snack bars serve international cuisine, such as Mediterranean, Japanese and grills. The several bars and cafes, such as the Poolside Bar and Aga Cafe, serve a range of beverages. A buffet breakfast is served daily. Movenpick Resort and Marine Spa has a concierge service at the 24-hour front desk. It has an on-site shop and offers a range of activities, such as water sports, volleyball and table tennis. Free Wi-Fi is also available. 7. Radisson Blue Palace Resort and the Lasso, Jerba. This luxury hotel is located directly on the beach in Jerba. It offers fitness and spa facilities, including an outdoor seawater pool, a hammam and a hot tub. Five restaurants are available on site. Free Wi-Fi internet access, satellite TV and bathrobes and slippers are provided in each of the air-conditioned rooms and suites at the The Radisson Blue Palace Resort and The Lasso. All rooms have views of the sea or the landscaped gardens and some have spa baths and balconies. The Radisson Blue Palace Resort and The Lasso has four restaurants and five bars, including an Italian bistro and an outdoor, beachside cafe and bar. A buffet breakfast is served daily at the hotel. Relaxation activities at the hotel include massage treatments and a sauna in the spa area and daily sporting activities such as power yoga and aqua sports. The hotel hosts an annual beach party every August. 8. Seuss Pearl Marriott Resort and Spa Set in Seuss, 400M from Boo Jaffer, Seuss Pearl Marriott Resort and Spa offers accommodation with a restaurant, free private parking, free bikes, and an outdoor swimming pool. Among the various facilities are a bar, a garden, as well as a private beach area. The accommodation features a 24-hour front desk, room service and currency exchange for guests. The hotel offers a continental or buffet breakfast. Seuss Pearl Marriott Resort and Spa offers five-star accommodation with an indoor pool and sun terrace. The accommodation provides an ironing service, as well as business facilities like fax and photocopying. Bar Ezebla Beach is 1.3 kilometers from Seuss Pearl Marriott Resort and Spa, while Las Vegas Beach is 2.4 kilometers away. The nearest airport is Monaster Habib Bourguiba International, 16 kilometers from the hotel, and the property offers a paid airport shuttle service. 9. Madia Beach and Aqua Park Madia Beach and Aqua Park is located in Madia, less than 40 kilometers from the Monaster International Airport. The hotel offers traditional Tunisian architecture, a large outdoor swimming pool and garden. It is set directly on a beautiful beach of fine sand in the touristic area of Madia. The 463 rooms of the hotel have a garden view or a sea view. The hotel offers four themed restaurants, Safra with its Tunisian cuisine, La Tienda with Spanish cuisine, La Cascada with Italian cuisine and a snack bar as well as four bars. The hotel offers an entertainment team who plan varied programs for children and adults. Water sport activities are possible on site for free as well as the training. Relax and enjoy the sunshine, fine sand and seawater all day long in the best seafront of the Tunisia coastline. 10. Hotel La Seagull Tabarca La Seagull Tabarca Located in the Tunisian coastal town of Tabarca, La Seagull Tabarca is just 20 m from the beach. It offers two outdoor swimming pools and a terrace overlooking the sea. Rooms at La Seagull Tabarca have air conditioning, satellite TV and a balcony or terrace. La Seagull Tabarca's restaurant has a buffet service with traditional cuisine. 
Guests can also enjoy the on-site thalassotherapy center. La Seagull Tabarca offers direct access to tennis courts and the Tabarca golf course. We trust that we have covered everything in our lovely article about Tunisia that you would find interesting or helpful as you prepare to book your next vacation. Don't forget to activate notification and subscribe to our channel Travelaro in order to receive updates. I appreciate your attention. See you in next report soon. Thanks.